What's up, PM gang? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Pandora Monet, and we're engaged. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be the size. What's up, PM gang? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can tell by the title, this video will be just a little bit different. It's going to be like a story time on how he proposed. Y'all, look at the ring. Uh, you can't really see it because of, you know how the cameras do. But literally, this is my dream ring. I literally picked this ring out. Um last year in march it was like a random thing because we went to georgia for his birthday we did like that staycation it was like a um one night thing we spent so much money on that thing but he wanted to do it It was like a um i don't want this video to be too long so i'm not gonna go into too much detail but we was at the outlets and he was like you know we saw a reese no it was every kid every kiss begins with k I think that's what it was. K Drew's, I think. But we saw one and he was like, let's go in there and look at some rings. So I'm like, oh, look at some rings. Like, <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me twice. But we went in there to look. Luckily we did because um he noticed that my um my actual ring that I wanted changed. Because I used to like a cushion, if you know what that is. But when I had tried it on my hand that day, I didn't like it. I was like, no, it's not giving too much bling bling like I wanted to. So then I saw the radiant diamond. And I was between like a radiant and an emerald, but the radiant shines so so much. So I was like, yeah, that's the ring, that's the one I want. So I literally picked this out a year ago. So ever since then, I was like, oh, he about to propose. You know, he thinking about proposing. Da da da. Never pressured him at all. We've been together for five years. Never pressured him about marriage, but we both knew that we wanted to be married before we have kids, and we always knew that we wanted to be married. We established that probably like three, probably about two years in or whatever. Even though things was, everybody go through stuff in relationships or whatever. But yeah, so never pressured him but everybody else did like everybody kept asking when y'all gonna get married when y'all gonna get married we y'all gonna have kids da, da, da. and we just i'm just like look i'm waiting on him whenever the time is right i just know it's coming yeah so yeah pick this ring out a year ago and he literally proposed on october 4th 2024 so last friday today is sunday by the way it's sunday october 13th and it's 2 20. so i'm all over the place y'all because i never really done like a set sit down video but this is what this video is going to be about just me telling you guys like a story time on how we propose i actually made like some um bullet points so i can make sure i speak on everything so i won't have to worry about it later so yeah y'all so he proposed on october 4th and i was shocked like i was literally shocked and if you guys seen my last video where it was my fall vlog i was literally prepping for my engagement and I had no clue like I was gonna already do the maintenance vlog I already had planned I was gonna get my hair done I was gonna get my nails done like I already had all that planned so it just worked out but it kind of dawned on me why he was like you know what day are you getting this done when you getting this done da, 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 da. make sure you available on this day like it was just it was crazy so um just to go back a little bit probably like a month ago we was just chilling in the bed and he was like let me pick you out a dress for a date night or whatever so i'm like okay so he picked me out this dress it's so pretty y'all but it was too small it was an extra small from house of cb and the dress was so freaking cute and um let me see let me see if i can pull up the picture but it turned out to be too small so i ended up finding the dress that i actually wore but like i said i just ordered it not thinking of anything but this is the dress it was really really cute he also bought me this purse and it was supposed to go with the dress like he bought me a whole outfit y'all like a whole outfit and right then and there i was already like skeptical i'm like you know what's what's going on but now i know <laughs> but i was like what's going on he bought me this coach bag that i asked for like almost a month ago i think i was on the phone with my aunt and we was just talking about it and i was like yes i gotta have this bag because if you know me i'm obsessed with coach like i love coach but this is the bag so he also bought me that bag so we were trying to like find stuff to go to wear with that so i ended up wearing the jean dress 
if you guys follow me on social media you already know what dr dress i ended up wearing i'm gonna just show you guys one of the pictures but this is the dress that i ended up wearing and it was really really cute and turned out really really good so um yeah so he picked me out something to wear so all right then and there i'm kind of like uh okay whatever not gonna you know not gonna ask too many questions and then the week of so i got my we got engaged friday i got my nails done wednesday got my hair done thursday no i was supposed to get my hair done thursday ended up getting my hair done friday and he was like you know what time you get your hair done are you going he was already asked me that friday or am i going to like get off early and i'm like no like why would i get off early i already took off almost a week we went to florida so i'm, like, I'm not really trying to take off any days um so he was like you know make sure you're off because we got something to do because our friends just got engaged like a couple weeks ago and they said that i mean he said that they were, they were basically having like an engagement party they wanted to invite all of their friends and family because everybody wasn't there last time so i was like okay cool i'm pretty sure the she told me that the event started at seven and he won't be ready by like 6 30. i was like okay if i get my hair done at 12 you know i should be home by four you know get ready get dressed or whatever so that didn't happen i didn't get home till like five o'clock so wednesday got my nails done whatever and it's crazy because he kept saying like why are you getting your nails done? i think he was testing me to see if i knew but he was like why are you getting your nails done who told you to get your nails done i'm like boy i always get my nails done you already know this so um so then when friday came i got my hair done um i hope you guys are following along i feel like i'm just rambling right now but friday i got my hair done get, didn't get home to five i was supposed to film like a whole get ready with me because i feel like i was going to be so cute and then another thing that didn't well that kind of dawned on me was um what i wore because i asked him i said you know what kind of event is it do like do we need to dress up is it chill you know like what like what is the the theme and he was like just wear um your jean dress and your coach bag that I got you and I'm like okay I said you sure you want me to wear that because it's kind of dressy it's not my event like it's not ours I was like and then I'm wearing heels I don't really like wearing heels to certain places like I just don't care for heels but those heels were smaller that I wore so I was good so he was like yeah just wear that and that was it I was like okay cool what you wearing and he told me what he was wearing well he kind of didn't tell me what he was wearing but he don't know we'll figure it out when we get home but he said he gonna just try to match me so then when I got home at five he wasn't home so I'm like you know where you at he said he was at the mall finding him something to wear mind you this man don't buy no type of clothes if anything I buy his clothes and if he do buy some clothes it's for a special occasion like he don't just go out and go shopping and the fact that that I knew that night wasn't about us I'm like why is he going out and buying some clothes so he was like you know he's going to the mall going to go find something to wear because he noticed he don't have anything to wear so i'm like okay whatever so he bought something and it ended up matching what i had on so i'm like okay you know that's cute or whatever so we got dressed it was probably like 6 30 years like we still got dressed in good timing and on the way to the engagement with a proposal he was like you know he lied <laughs> he was like i lied y'all got me some hookah so let me smoke it um he lied and he was like we're not going to you know pete and alexis that's her name pete and alexis um engagement party he was like i actually rented out an airbnb for us to like just get out the house just replicate our first date that we ever had because when we first our first first date i remember it was in january 2020 2019 can't remember the actual date but um we went to a seafood spot because if you know me i love seafood and we went to the seafood spot and i think it was like in chapel hill but i think it's closed down because he asked me like like a couple months ago you know what was the name of the place see if i can find it i couldn't find it so i think it's closed down he couldn't find it either so he said he basically you know rented out an airbnb so we can replicate the our first date and i was like oh okay i told him i was like i'm getting nervous and he was like don't be getting nervous because it ain't nothing that you're thinking about it's just a date night just for us to get out of the house have a good time da, da, da. and i'm like okay whatever still nervous <laughs> so then he was like um but when we get to this stoplight you have to cover your eyes and he gave me like something to cover my eyes and i was like no you're gonna mess up my makeup but i'll just keep my eyes closed so i kept my eyes closed didn't see nothing couldn't see nothing stumped my toe told him to watch where he going because my eyes closed like he made me stump my toe whatever but he wanted me to keep my eyes closed because for one after the whole proposal was over um when i when we went outside to basically like walk some people out all our family cars was lined up across the road because the place was downtown this is real nice three-story basically like a million dollar home that my um mom's friend 
she is her she owns it and she rents it out as airbnb and y'all it's so nice oh that was my second time being there i was there before me and him went there before for something else and it was so nice so he already would have known i know you know where like i basically would have known the place once i seen it and you can see where everybody parks and then he did it on the rooftop so yeah now i see why he wanted me to keep my eyes closed because i already knew where i was going to be and i was like you know how do pete and Lisa know about this place or whatever so yeah so basically um when we got there we went up the stairs my dream is three floors so we had to go up three floors on the steps and then when we got like as soon as we walked in first of all i heard people talking i'm like who is that he ain't seen nothing so then we walked up three floors um and then he was like stay right there and he let my hand go and I know my mama's hands. I know I know my mama's fingers. So she grabbed my hand. She was like this. <laughs> and I heard the music playing. Forever Mine was playing. And he liked that song. And um, I heard that music started playing. So I'm thinking in my head like, oh, Lord. Like, what in the world did we just walk into? Like, I just started getting so nervous. Like, I was just so, so. Because I hate. I hate being center of attention or all that stuff. I just be so nervous. So my heart started pounding. My mom grabbed my hand. We started walking in, and he and I'm gonna show you guys these clips. I'm just giving you guys like a backstory, but I'm gonna show you guys all the clips that we have so far. Well, all the clips that we have in general, because yeah, I'm gonna show them in the, at the end of this video. But um, yeah. So my mom grabbed my hand, and and, and my fiance, was like Isaac, he was like, you can open your eyes. So I opened my eyes. And literally everybody was there all my friends all my family all his friend all his family some of his friends and what well, some of my friends were there some of my friends couldn't make it but um basically our family and friends was there and i was just so shocked like because like literally when i used to talk about us getting engaged i always talk like i don't know i feel like i was just gonna do it like intimate like he probably take me out to dinner you know just do something just me and him i've never thought that he would do all our family which i really appreciate because i did tell him i was like, i really don't know i said i really don't care which one but i probably would prefer all our family because i'm a family person and he knows that i love my family i tell my family everything we always doing stuff together we're always hanging out we talk every single day so he already know the vibes and um so yeah y'all so everybody was there y'all it was so nice i just immediately started crying <laughs> so when i walked up to him he started you know saying his speech and i ended up making him cry like everybody was just crying like in the videos i'm not going to mute or nothing you're going to hear everybody in the video just crying like everybody was just crying it was just so i don't know it was just so beautiful so amazing like i was just so shocked and i was really happy that all my family and friends was there and his family and his friends like it was just so nice y'all and so you know since he had it at the airbnb we basically already had our engagement party like everybody was there that we possibly would be able to invite and you know some people couldn't make it but it's okay but i still loved it no matter what so that was basically like our engagement party so we're not going to have an engagement party but i've always said i wanted to have one but look he he killed two birds with one stone so it was just so nice i wish i could have got a video of like everybody when we was like downstairs eating and stuff <laughs> Because I was just in the moment, like I even had my camera with me because I wanted him to take pictures of me on my camera just with what I was wearing. Like I just felt like I was just so cute, but I never even brought my camera out. That's how much in the moment I was because I could have brought my camera out and just vlogged something. But I was just stuck in the moment, you know, talking to everybody, just soaking it all in. And I just didn't bring out my camera. Like, I was just living in the moment. Everybody else took videos and stuff. They had to send them to me. I didn't take, I think I only took one video. And that was when I, I think it was me, of me and Isaac. And I posted it on my story. And then I also took a video of, like, my ring because I did this TikTok. And that was it, y'all. I didn't get no more videos. But it was just so freaking nice. Like, it was just so nice. I still can't believe I'm still in shock. We've been engaged for a week in like, what, two days? And I'm just so, so happy, y'all. I'm just so happy, y'all. So, 
let me i'm trying to i'm trying to make sure i stay on trying to make sure i stay on track and yeah. another thing that i forgot to mention my mother-in-law actually brought this <laughs> to the proposal slash engagement so i've been looking through here you know just trying to get a few ideas i feel like it's a really good book to have and another thing my side of the family said that it was going to be here that saturday for my aunt's birthday i can't show myself y'all because i'm about to take a shower but yeah they said that they was going to be here that saturday to go to brunch at 9 30 in the morning and if you know me well if you know my family they're not waking up at no seven o'clock to be to brunch and all the way an hour and a half away to be in brunch to be at brunch for nobody's birthday so when i was like huh so my grandma gonna be here my aunt gonna be here everybody gonna come for my aunt birthday brunch which is it's not like we can't do it but i'm just saying like come on now but even then i'm like okay so everybody gonna be here saturday all of a sudden because you know i ain't know nothing about that but whole time yeah we are going to brunch saturday because everybody was gonna be here friday so that's another thing that I forgot. And I also want to show you guys this book. Because <laughs> I was literally about to look at it after I got the shower and got in the bed. So yeah. I'm not going to show too much at the top. Because I got other people locations that wasn't off. But like y'all literally that day I kept checking. Like, I always check locations. But literally everybody location went off at the same time. And I'm like where the freak is everybody at? Like why is everybody location turned off? All of a sudden so they thought they was asleep but the whole time they was freaking on the way to the freaking proposal so that's why everybody location was turned off and they thought they was asleep and they thought i was i wasn't gonna notice but i did and i took a screenshot because i was just like this is crazy like what is going on so that's that y'all so then so now you know up to us being engaged of course everybody keep asking us you know when is the date and man we, we talked about the date and we're kind of, of course we're going to do 2026 because you know of course i waited we've been together five years i waited all my life for this moment so happy and we don't want to rush it like we don't want to you know say that we're going to get married in 2025 just so we can rush it like i really want to take my time this is like my going to be my dream wedding my only wedding and so same thing for him and he knows so we're pushing for 2026 the wedding that i want y'all oh, it's gonna be tea if i can get it how i want it it's gonna be tea but I don't know i really don't care I, I don't i don't feel like the theme is going to match the season but i really don't care like i don't care so <laughs> um yeah because my aunt and my mom already planning the bridal shower i think we're going to do that next year and then of course the bachelorette i already know where i want to go the girls already know where we're going to go and then of course the wedding so yeah i'm super excited y'all that's a really leaning towards 2026 and we do plan on starting January because right now it's October. We're starting January 2025. We're going to start looking at venues and seeing if we can just go ahead and lock something in because we already talked about photographer and he should be able to do the videos too. We talked about the food, um, like who we want to cater. So we just want to go ahead and lock these people in, but we can't do that until we get a venue and then have a set date. We don't want to waste too much time. We want to just, you know, enjoy planning. We don't want to feel rushed. So if we go ahead and book the building, we can kind of, you know, relax. When So by the time the wedding comes, we should be good. Like, we shouldn't be rushed. We should be relaxed and we should just be happy and enjoying it. And I really want to do like a destination wedding, but my grandparents won't get on a plane. I can't get married without them so I'm like you know what it's whatever but I do really you know plan or pray that we can have the wedding and literally fly out to our honeymoon the next day like we're gone see y'all later when we get back um it might make some babies because uh, as you guys know we don't have any kids we never wanted to have kids until we got married so we're not going to pop up pregnant next year because we're still going to wait until we get married i can wait one more year before i before we have any kids um and i do want to have an engagement shoot since it's getting cold and i want the engagement shoot to be outside we might just wait and do the engagement shoot maybe like next year when it gets a little bit warm because of course we don't want to do it outside in the cold and i want an outside setting flowers nature i want all that we have a theme for the bridal shower i was going between two different things that we ended up going with um another thing but you guys will see i'm going to vlog the whole process i'm going to vlog us looking at venues i'm going to vlog the bridal shower the bachelorette i'm going to vlog like the little steps of you know booking this stuff because this is my first time y'all like uh, well of course this is my first time so i don't really know about a lot of this stuff but i do have a lot of people around me that has been married or 
know a lot about on the way this so they, they're going to help me but i'm going to also just document it to probably help you know some of you guys that's going to be getting married or you know getting proposed to and you have to basically start start fresh just like me because i have no clue what i'm doing but i'm just excited to do it because i don't think we're going to get a wedding planner i don't know i don't think we are i don't feel like we're going to need one because i'm a wedding planner myself when it comes to the creative side of me i got it i just need for somebody to do what i want and then we can just go from there because i know what i want um just stay tuned because just stay tuned so yeah so that's basically like everything y'all like i'm just i was gonna have him come in here and like say a few things but he don't really like being on camera he would have did it if i would ask but he's um changing oil so i don't want to disrupt him but yeah y'all we are engaged finally like it i just and it's so crazy because sometimes when i'm talking about him like at work and stuff i still be seeing my boyfriend and they be like oh fiance and i'm like i'm trying to get used to it because that really is my fiance <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this picture. This is one of the pictures that we got to keep. It was, um, well, it's the only picture, but it was like the background. I mean, it was the picture that was up there with the, like when he was up there proposing, like the whole setup, it was one of the pictures. And it's so cute. We plan on putting it like in our um, staircase, like when you're walking up the steps, that picture is going to be right there. And she also was so nice and she printed out these pictures like for the parents. We already gave my mom and stepdad theirs. But this one is for his mom and dad. But he just keep forgetting to give it to him when we go that way. But yeah, y'all, that's basically it. I didn't really want to talk too much because, I mean, it can get kind of boring. But look at this shirt. This shirt is so freaking cute. My aunt got it for me. It say, I said yes. It was so cute. And then my sash that I had on, my boyfriend actually ordered that. And I wore that at the... um proposal at the I'm calling it the engagement party because that's basically what it was after the proposal but I wore the slash and then this is the shirt never got a chance to take a picture in it but it was so cute y'all and we haven't gotten our pictures back yet we're still waiting she did tell us it's going to take at least three weeks to get the pictures back because it's a lot of editing that she has to do because a lot of people was just gathered all in a way when she was trying to take the pictures which i understand so we haven't gotten the pictures back yet but i can't wait to post them and the ring if you guys can tell i do have on a ring guard because the ring is a little bit too big just a just a tad bit and he said he got it like that for when i start to have kids um, when we start to have kids, he wants the rings to still be able to fit. Cause you know, sometimes when you have kids, your fingers can get fat. And I know some women that, you know, blew up and then the weight didn't drop and they couldn't, you know, they couldn't wear their rings. So I understand where he coming from, but y'all, I just, I'm ready for my ring to fit, fit. I don't know. We're still debating if we want to like get it, if we want to get it sized, we're still thinking about it. Cause I can still do it. I mean, just a little bit. We're still thinking about it. I don't know. Um, I'm still going to wear it regardless, but I want you guys to like see it because it's just so pretty. It's just so freaking pretty y'all. Like you got the diamonds going all the way around the band. It has a halo. That's what makes the diamond like sit up. Y'all it's just so freaking pretty. Like he did so freaking good. Like I couldn't have asked for a better ring. And I even told him like down the line, you know how people like upgrade and like your five year anniversary, 10 year anniversary. I said, I literally would want this same ring. You could just make the rock bigger, but baby, I love this rock. <laughs> I hope I kind of talked or touched on every point that I was supposed to. Like I said, it was very, very much all over the place. Um, and I apologize because I once I start talking, I just start ranting and I just start getting sidetracked. But that's basically everything, really. Like, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the clips because my friend said that they was vlogging on the way here for me. So I'm gonna show you guys those clips, and I'm gonna show you the clips from the actual proposal. Then that'll just, that'll basically be it. So let's go ahead and watch those videos. So we on the way to Riley because. <laughs> Pandora is getting engaged. <laughs> I'm so excited for her. Oh my god. We go ahead, Pandora. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> so Y'all have to back up and you gotta stay in your seat. Y'all have to back up and you gotta stay in your seat. Y'all have to back up and you gotta stay in your seat. Y'all have to back up and you gotta stay in your seat. Y'all have to back up and you gotta stay in your seat.
I have to back up and stand. <laughs> oh. have seen those videos oh my god y'all i'm just so excited i'm just ready to like plan like i already know what dress i want <sighs> like i'm just ready to like go dress shopping it's just like a dream come true your girl is about to get married I just cannot believe it it's like i can believe it but i can't believe it like and i just be looking at my finger like the first night we got engaged i slept in my ring I try not to sleep in it the night, the night after because I just don't want to get it messed up. I don't want to get it dirty. I will be the girly. I will be the fiance. I will be the wife to get her ring cleaned every month because I need my, I need it to shine. Because even when he first, first gave it to me, that thing was shining. Like, it was shining. And it's still, you know, shine, but I can tell it can get, it can, I can get a cleaning. Just like my friend Kiara said, I always gave wife, but I'm about to be a wife. Uh, let's stop talking you guys head off and thank you guys so much for everyone that did congratulate us i know i tried to you know i loved everybody post i tried to respond back to as many people as i could but it was just so many people i really really appreciate everyone for for congratulating us and for all the kind words that everyone has said we really um appreciate it and so so do my fiance we really really do appreciate it um i can't wait to get the pictures back so we can actually post the pictures because i just know it's going to be so beautiful like I just know the pictures are just going to be so beautiful. I just can't wait to see them. Can't wait to post them. Can't wait for you guys to see them. I wish, I hope I, maybe I can get them back before I post this vlog. Because I might post this vlog next Sunday. It's, it's okay. You guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook, um, TikTok, whatever, you guys will be able to see everything anyway. So yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and just end the video here. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for all you guys' kind words. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Love you guys. Bye.